was that? My camera caught you throwing the cigarette butt on the floor. So? What do you mean, so? Don't do it. Okay. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here in Boston, taking a look at this place, Greencore. Hello, mate. What's your name? Andy. Andy. Thanks, mate. Nice, nice to, meet, to you, mate. meet you, mate. Your sunfish fire and security, yes, yeah? Mate, yes, working in there. Right, okay. Nice to meet you. Yes. Take care. So, literally just arrived, turned the camera on, and already Andy has spotted us. Boston. It's amazing, really. You travel hour and a half to Boston, and it's like you live here. But yeah, looking through the fence, the building does look very nice, nicely cladded. I think we do have uh, Mr. Security showing an interest in us. Just to the right of security, we've got some sort of uh, reception over there with a turnstile, some sort of bike, storage in the corner. They are recruiting outside look all about the uh, careers within the green core now these do food basically some do ready meals some do coleslaw yeah if it's um, packaged up to be eaten pre-prepared then that's green core's market but this is what we have goods inwards Barriers. You okay. It's a nut free site, it says. So no nutters here. Five mile an hour, forklifts, no children, designated smoking. All good signage wise. And what about fag bots? Because around the entrances, we're often seeing lots of fag bots, aren't we? Well, there's a few, you know, more than normal. And it's obviously the staff, but I wouldn't say this is excessive this time. There is a bin, there's a couple of bins actually. I wonder whether Green Corps have provided these along the fence. That's a nice little touch if they have. Well, there's a couple of pieces of litter in there. I would say Green Corps have done that, yeah. So, credit to them. Got somebody just turning around now. Oh, this is a drop-off and collection point. So this will be a daily task for this person. Picking up their colleague. And we have somebody with a lanyard. Man bun. Just going in there as well. It looks like staff have to report to security before they go on to site. Heavily involved, isn't it? Wow, that's fast. Speedy Beamer coming down here. What's the speed limit down here? 30, I would have thought. Big buses. Oh, is it coming over? Oh. Hello. I hope I've done on ten pounds. You look good. <laughs> You're the first person to say that. What are we up to? I like your bike. For twenty minutes, I'll be filming and just creating the content of whatever happens. I fly the drone around because I can't see down in the backyard. Right. I don't want to come on. Don't want to 
be inducted Straight or anything like that. Straight on public road, mate. Yeah. Do, so do please. The drone goes and sees the things that I can't see, but just basically observe for 20 minutes. What, um, what drone is it? Do you want to see it? I'm just out of curiosity more than anything, just yeah, interested yeah. in... You want to buy one, don't you? I do, I have into Well, no, true story with my old man. I bought him one for Christmas because he got into all this. And yeah. he um, he landed it on his garage roof. And he's, he's, a, he's commercial. So he's got a, he's like a car garage. And I turned up like three weeks after Christmas. I had to get on with it. And he went, well, I landed it in the pond. And he dried it out. And I said, oh, great. And he said, um, where's it now? He went, on the garage roof. And I was like, too high to climb oh, and get you it. Ain't, no. It's our old building at the time, so... Oh, that's so, a shame, isn't it? What's the battery life on it? About 20 minutes. Oh, is that, so that's why it's 20 minutes? But that, yeah. I've got three of them in there. And it's nice and light, 249 grams. You can get as close as you like to commercial buildings. The camera, 4K. And even if there's wind, it'll just counteract the wind and it'll stay there for you. Cool. And the camera will stay straight, you know? Yeah. There's the gimbal on it. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. But, people like let's say you work in a bank or something like that you'll never get to see what's happening a bit, no, of, 100%. A bit of reality television on industrial estate who does it eh uh, <laughs> i could think of more exciting places to do it but i deal with it every day so yeah. good they're cool but I, there's so many people going around like i don't know city centers and yeah, yeah. industrial estates it's like a bit of a niche area yeah absolutely 100 i mean your your um you're in the place for it, you've got loads of them down, down the road, so yeah. happy days, cool. So, some green cores that I've been to make ready meals for uh -huh. Sainsbury's, some do coleslaw. What's them? Uh, salads. So, all on the website, nothing exciting. Freshly prepared salads? Yeah. Right. yeah. So, you got the right worst person, I'm a safety guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, so well, in terms of what what did you do, it's like, well, no, stuff comes in, stuff comes out. You've just seen salads. Basically. And, yeah. and you, you pack it all here? Yeah, I mean, again, I've only been here. Not only about eight months, so no. worst person for you. How many days since last time, last lost time accident? Uh, I should know this off the top of my head. About about seven months actually. Two really? Months. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's thanks yeah, to you. You're right, mate. Bike. Yep, no worries. You like it? No you can have a go if you want. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'll work, man. I'll go. No That's right. Enjoy yourself. The no, sun's shining. No well, we'll leave you at it then. Uh, well, only thing being, just lorries do swing in. Sometimes I do mount the curve, but... I hope not. No, well, I'd rather they didn't. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool, down, yeah, nice talking to you guys. Take care. Take care. So we'll just continue with the zoom camera for a few more moments. Just to see everything we can see from the ground. As we said, we're only going to be here for 20 minutes. So let's make the most of it. Down at the back, they do have a windsock, so ammonia or similar will be on site. It's great to know more about these things now. We've covered a windsock and I forgot what it was called. <laughs> so because of that, we learned quite a lot about what they are called and what they do. The trays, of course, for the salads, bit of information. The only piece of information that we was told. The very well presented building there with the modern cladding, a bit of a, uh, a fake wood effect down below. But yeah, it looks fantastic. They've even planted some trees, stoned the area, provided bins. It's nice and tidy. And do I see lots of hair nets down there? I think I do. Yeah, there we go. Look. There's no denying that they take PPE very seriously here. I think three o'clock is shift change over here. Uh, I think we're about there right now. So let's just get on with it. Let's get David out and see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in the area. I thought that vehicle was gonna turn in then, but no. We've seen no vehicle movements of the heavy type so far. Green core, Boston. Let's have a look at you then, shall we? Take off. So nice and high this time. There's no wind. Let's get right up. There we go, 90 meters, that'll do. The entrance, the car park, 
the lovely image on the front of that building and then we get down into the depth of the site where public can't normally see and right down at the back we can see even more parking wow so there are a lot of people that work here it looks like some sort of chute there that comes out of the site and spits the waste into the trailer you don't see that every day do you some cooling down here which is heavily guarded by those rails right next to the windsock and a forklift buzzing around lots of trays and he was reversing and he has got PPE on down over here we've got some sort of uh, is it a tray washing area does the ground look wet well we've got somebody collecting pallets does it look like they're broken for some reason he's taking the pallets and he is strapping them down as well and we've got more trailers with more waste down here let's get a little bit lower let's have a look at this waste so can we work out what this waste is i think we may even have some waste salads in the packets there but it's very hard to tell at the moment on this small screen We've got some sort of building work going on, some groundwork down there. Is that a new slab being laid? Concrete slab for something? Looks like it is to me. And of course the compactor down in the corner. And the guys organising the Chet pallets, the blue ones. But that's fantastic car park expansion, isn't it? That's all you need, a nice stoned area. And then they've got a bit of a dumping ground. We often see this in the corner of the sites, don't we? All the stuff that they may need one day. They don't want to get rid of it, just in case. And more of that same type. Oh no, it's more construction. Got some heavy machinery down there. Have they been uh, laying that fence after dredging that little gully? The designated smoking area down there, look. Maybe the car park expansion is the new bit. It all looks fairly new, even the motorcycle area looks fairly new. So there we go, Green Core, Boston. Up at 120 meters, there is your whole site in one shot. We'll do a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and we'll move on because Green Core has behaved very professionally to a photographer and a drone flyer. Her security just lobbing his cigarette butt on the floor there. I would have thought that security needs to use their designated smoking area as well as everybody else on site. Not very fair if he is the one getting to smoke out here and let the company down when people like me see the butts outside and blame it on the staff. All along it was security. And did we see the SIA license on display? Hmm. I don't think we did. So the location of the DJ Audit's keyring on this video it's just under that stone there. You can just about see the key ring there. If you are one of the first people to watch the video, and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. And I think we should just highlight the concerns raised about security throwing his cigarette butt down, just there. And also the SIA license before we go. It would be a shame for him to see it on the video, wouldn't it? I think we, it's only fair that we let him know.
<laughs> just need to see security for a moment. Are you DJ all this? Yeah. Are you his boss? Uh, I'm not his boss, but we, um, I talk to him. Okay. Do you want to hear what I'm going to say? Uh, yeah. Yeah. My friend. Yeah. Um, whilst I was recording, I said I was going to only be here for 20 minutes. Yeah. But whilst I was recording, my camera caught you throwing the uh, cigarette butt on the floor. It was there. My camera caught you throwing the cigarette butt on the floor. So? What do you mean, so? Don't do it. Okay. Right, you've got bins outside. Extinguish the cigarette and put it in the bin or use this, the company designated smoking area like everyone else. He's not going to drop giant dryer, No, but he's dropping cigarette butts. Yeah, we're just going to have to talk to you about that. Afterwards. Okay, cool. No, it's yeah, because it, it lets the company down because I was blaming the staff for that outside. Company's trying to keep the area clean and tidy. Yeah. And you're out there throwing your butts on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I know. And um, also, where's your SIA license? I don't want to see it, but have you got one? Yeah, I have got one. Is it on display? Yeah. What, is it on display? Yeah, it's here. On your person, on display? It's here. It's not? That's not... Okay, you've got one. That's fine. It should be on display, but that's fine. No problem. Well, because... No problem. So we're, we're done now. We're done. Thank you very much. Yeah, what, yeah. what was the update? I'll show you. If you would. Everybody likes to see the blue badge, that's all. If I don't, if I don't explain what we've seen yeah, on the right, spot. Yeah, sure, absolutely, no. Every, every opportunity for learning. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you've put bins out there. I presume they're your bins. No, they are council. It's a bit of a weird estate, this one. So Look, it's there. like, they're yeah, there. I so know. That's a great thing. Yeah, yeah. So just down here, you know, the seat, the, these cigarette butts are all from security because I just saw him throw it down. Uh -huh. Now, nothing personal. If he's not told, he'll, ne he'll never know. I don't want him to get him sacked. Yeah, I just yeah, want him yeah. to get better. Because I, I filmed these earlier and I was blaming it on the staff. But it's actually not your staff. It's him. Well, fall under the same team. Well, it's a contractor, to be honest. Yeah. They let, still same team. They let companies down sometimes, but they're the first people that we see. Yeah, of course, 100%. They're the voice of the company in my eyes. Yeah, well, like you say, first one that's on the film. But down there, fantastic. You know, great what clean pallet storage. What you do upload it and then... Well, it, I call it an audit. I'm only here for 20 minutes. I'll yeah. comment on good and bad things. I'm called DJ Audits on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And now I move on. Wow. And I've seen people dart down here. Unfortunately, dressed for the ride. Well, just for the slide, not the ride. Yeah. They do tear our it down here, don't they? It's a weird industrial estate because if you go down there, there's the um, recycling centre and all that, and it's often of a weekend, it's it's dead. There is literally past like work time, it's just empty. Um, and you do this road is just it, it is unfortunately it's a nice straight road with like a little bit of a thing. Yeah, they do. Oh good, cool. No, I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you. a pleasure to visit yeah. your site. Thank awesome. you. Look up, sir. Thank you. You surely don't get everywhere on the bike. No, my car's parked around. Because obviously cause... you see only see the bike on the thing and you think it comes you're either extremely fit yeah. and you're I wouldn't like to keep parking the car around and getting in it and it's it's in the way. It also gives a reg. Cool. No, no dramas. Have a lovely one. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate thank you. So that's that. Green Core, Boston. All good really, apart from security. And you know, it says, so what? I'm throwing the fag butt outside for our council workers to clean up. And it's like, so what? <laughs> well, I don't think he'll be doing that anymore, do you? So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now. And finally, we get a vehicle coming in. You can go whenever you're ready, mate. And nowhere near mounting the curb look. So we'll leave them to carry on their great work and we'll go and find somewhere else to film.